There's nothing easy such as opening a business. In order to open a business, all you just need to do is to have some savings or you can just go ahead uh, into your bank, you request for a loan and you come, you open a business. But here's the catch. Running a business to be successful, this is where the hard work and the consistency uh, really matters. In this video, we are going to look into how you can start a business, how you can make it successful and what exactly you need to put in place so that you can see some tremendous uh, results. My name is Willy and in this channel we get to look into ways that you can get to make money online as well as businesses that you should consider investing in so that you start earning some passive income. But before we get into all that, if you're new to the channel, just go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and you also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos that I'll be uploading here in future. And whenever I have a new upload, you always be the first one to be notified. Without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead we dive into our today's video. Welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking into steps or strategies, tips you need to put in place whenever you open a business so that it gets to, uh, to reach those uh, uh, successful uh, heights. And these are, if you get to ignore what I'll be talking about, these steps that we'll be looking into, trust you me, your business will be having some difficult times. Uh, see these, this is what we'll be looking into. These are the core uh, factors that any successful business they always have to put in check but before you get into that quickly let's look into the link in the description section this is a link to a platform that provides you with daily job opportunity this is for the case of people who are looking uh, for that uh, to, to be hired into a company or even people who are looking to get a new opportunity or even uh, to upgrade uh, the kind of job that they are, they are working on right now in this platform, the good thing with this platform, it also provides you with free CV sample. So the only thing you just need to do is to go ahead, download these uh, CVs, edit, it, edit them. And after that, all that's required from you is to go ahead and apply to these jobs. Once you're done doing that, let's proceed to get a look which are these core factors, core uh, strategies that any successful business must consider and put in place so that uh, it can get to, uh, to grow and of course, get to uh, reach those uh, successful uh, levels and first of all we'll be looking into number of them uh, into five of them and for our case let's just go ahead we dive into our first one and any business should always uh, be uh, different from their competitor it's very very important to distinguish your business from your competitors by this what i mean your business must have values which are uh, they are different to, from what the, what the competitor wants to achieve. What story does your business have as compared to the competitor? The reputation is very, very important. The other thing, the brand promises of your, uh, of your business should always be different from your competitor. When, these, when you put this in place and you always uh, make sure it's in check, you will notice your business, your customers who are come to your business, they can clearly see the line between you and uh, your competitor. This way, uh, there won't be any confusion of whereby you find your client uh, getting the wave of your competitor or even talking about your competitor. For instance, here in Kenya, we have companies such as Safaricom and Airtech. And the first thing, whenever you see uh, the, the, the contrast that exists between these two, these two companies is the color thing. For the case of the Safaricom, we have, uh, they have uh, that uh, green as their color theme. And for the case of the Airtel, we have the red uh, color. So this is what I'm talking about, whereby you get to draw a clear line between you and your competitor so that uh, your customer can always have that identification of your business. The other, thing, the other thing you should always put in place is the mission and the goals that uh, your business want uh, to achieve. And uh, it's always important to always have the word out there and let your customers know exactly what you want to achieve uh, for this case. So that's the first thing you should always uh, put in place. Let's proceed into a second one and this is whereby your business has to be recognizable. This is whereby marketing and branding is really, really important. Uh, from this case, um, for this case, the first thing you need to, uh, to put in place, you need to come up with a branding whereby 
can customers can easily identify your business from a long distance or even if uh, from a glance they can always uh, feel the kind of they they already know your brand for this case you can do uh you can come up with a simple word which is highly memorable whereby whenever you hear of the name you can always uh, feel associated with a particular brand the other thing of course which is uh, important to always put in place is the color thing whenever it comes to branding the color thing that you get to choose is very very important and it's always advisable go with the color theme which is not popular with so many brands so that you kind of you can get to stand out and people they can easily uh, notice you uh, from uh, from different brands so for this case you need to make sure uh, come up with a simple name which is highly memorable color theme should always be unique and the other thing which is very very important is when it comes to the logo the logo design that you get to come up with make sure it's identifiable and somehow it's highly relatable to what you're doing and of course it speaks of the brand that it's representing without even um, adding any more details. So that's our second point. Always make sure your business is highly recognizable uh, from a distance. Let's proceed to the third in our list and this is whereby you need to create customer loyalties. This is whereby let the customer feel like uh, uh, the business care takes, uh, cares about them and this way you'll find customer always bringing more more of their friends or even f f family uh, to uh, to that business and this is how you're going to get referrals. Whenever you find your customers talking about your business out there in a positive way, that can that there's no any other marketing which is powerful such as that. Whenever a customer gets to speak good of your business out there, trust me, when, whoever they are talking up, they are talking to, always they will have uh, they will will the conversation and trust me. Uh, sooner or later, you will find them coming to a business uh, very confident of what they already uh, they already had about the brand. So that's very very important to always consider customer loyalty, and it's good whenever a business gets to reward that. Uh, from their customers. If you have those low customers who always come to you, it's very very important to come up with a package uh, which is going to recognize that and let the customer feel appreciated for for coming back uh, uh, or bringing back business. So this one, for this you can get to promote your customer through, for instance, uh, you can offer free deliveries. Uh, sometimes you can come up with promotion uh, offer packages where you get to reward randomly or you get to uh to to reward people who uh keep uh coming back for more services or even buying more product so that's very very important and uh it gets to affect your business in a very great way and uh, any entrepreneur who has a business out there should always consider this so that's our third in our list let's proceed into our fourth in our list and this is whereby uh, we are talking of identify your audience it's very very important to always know who are your customers who do expect to be your customers and from which geographical region can i get this audience who will be interested with my product the other thing we also need uh in the case of the business you need to always understand what's the age bracket that you're always considering uh to be your audience and uh, as well as to be your customer so that whenever you get to run a campaign, you don't get to push out uh, your effort to the wrong audience or even the wrong age of, age bracket. For instance, you're dealing with products such as, uh, let's say you're dealing with merchandise like t-shirt printing. Imagine a situation whereby you get to focus uh, on people on an age bracket of around 60 or even 50. You may find your effort, they're not bearing any, any good fruit or they're not uh, going proportion to the effort that you are putting in and this is the way by you need to do some market research so that you get to understand who exactly am I focusing uh, to be my customer out there. So for this one, first of all, you need the first thing you need to do, you need to focus on your audience and by this, you need to understand uh, exactly uh, who am I uh, focusing to be my customer. The other thing you need also to understand the age bracket. So, uh, so far, those are four things that are very crucial when it comes to business branding and of course, uh, they get to affect the success of your business. Let's proceed into our fifth in our list and this is by you need to create business asset. By this, I don't mean uh, the hardware, all those things. They are those basic things that any business must have when it comes to branding and of course, when it comes to marketing. These may sound simple, but trust me, 
This is a very, very important thing to always uh, have in a business. And for this case, we are talking of things like uh, the color theme. I already talked about that. It's very, very important. We also need to have the font, the font that you get uh, to identify your business with. Uh, we also have things like a uh, logo, which is very, very important. Logo is this the, this the face of the business. It has to be speak of the business. Whenever you're not out there to get to defend the business, it has to uh, to do all that. The other thing, of course, is the slogan, which uh, so many businesses, as well as big brands, they always uh, consider having. And uh, if you are there, you have a business, consider creating those things since they are very important uh, for the business. Once you get to have all those, uh, trust me, these are the fundamentals. These are the core things that any business should have uh, in order to, for it to be successful. So that's it for today. Before you wrap up this video, go ahead and check out the link in the description section. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's below here. Also, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any, any of my videos in the future. And if you found the video value dedicated to you, give me that like thumbs up. I will really, really appreciate it. That brings us to the end of today's video and I hope I'll see you in the next episode.